Welcome folks. I want to describe the fundamental theorem of abelian groups. So if I ask you, what are all the abelian groups of size 1024, or what are all the abelian groups of size 100, you could figure this out. If I ask you, what are all the groups of size, you know, 1024, that's much, much harder. Abelian group, you'll remember, means that for any elements of the group A and B, you have the property that A times B is equal to B times A. Whichever way you multiply, multiply them, you get the same answer. So the fundamental theorem says, every finite abelian group is isomorphic to a direct product of cyclic groups of prime power order. So take G, which is a finite abelian group, only a finite number of elements. You could write it as isomorphic to a cyclic group of power um, P1, where P1 is a prime raised to the power alpha one, okay? Cross a cyclic group of size P2 raised to the power alpha two. Cross dot, dot, dot. You have it. Um, however many of these as you want. And the prime numbers don't need to be uh, distinct. So let's do an example or two. Six is not prime and you know, six is not a power of a prime. So how do I write Z mod six Z in this way? Well, it turns out that Z mod six Z is isomorphic to Z mod two Z cross Z mod three Z. The element one one, the element one one in this direct product is an element of order six. So it therefore generates this group of size six, giving you this isomorphism with sort of the canonical cyclic group of size six. So in this example, I've taken my first prime to be two, my first power to be one, right? There's sort of a hidden two to the first power here. Um, my second prime is three, right? And um, my second power is one. There's a hidden one here. And I'm only looking at the product of two, two groups. So n is equal to two. Okay. Let's just do one more example. What if I ask you What's the complete list of abelian groups of size 200? Let me factor 200 into its prime factorization. 200 is eight times 25 or two cubed times five squared up to isomorphism. Okay, so I want to give all of the abelian groups up of size 200 up to isomorphism. So I only want to list, you know, groups that are not isomorphic to each other. Okay, and there's going to be six such isomorphic isomorphism classes. There's six different groups up to isomorphism that are both abelian and of size 200. The reason being this part two cubed could be obtained either as a Z mod eight Z that's group of size eight or as a Z four Z direct product Z two Z that's another group of size eight or as Z two cross Z two cross Z two. Okay, so those are, you know, ways to get a B on groups of size eight. And then there's two ways to get abelian groups of size 25. The easiest way is just Z mod 25 Z. 
So if I add that as a direct product term on the end, these are three different groups of size eight times 25, or in other words, of size 200. But I also, on the end, could have tagged along Z5Z cross Z5Z, right? Because Z5 cross Z5 is also of size 25. And I could have combined those with any of three, these three different ways to get a group, a Bielen group of size eight. Okay. So all of these groups also have size eight times size 25, namely size 200. And maybe you've picked up on the pattern yet, maybe not, but uh, I'm hinting at the pattern of how you would write down all of the abelian groups of a certain size. You take that size and write it as its prime factorization. And then you figure out all the ways to you know, write down abelian groups of size eight. There's three. And you pair that with all the ways to write down abelian groups of size 25, of which there are two, right? So, here we ended up getting six different isomorphism classes. Um, and yeah, it's, that's quite nice to be able to do this. So uh, next week we'll try this with a number, another number here. We'll try replacing 200 with something else. Any public questions? Thanks so much.